A bit back, I looked at NOS, or New Operating System, basically a desktop environment for the Nintendo Switch. And while the video did not initially get the most attention, I think it wasn't that bad, despite its audio mixing. And this made me wonder, could you use a 3DS in your day-to-day -day life? I mean, sure, it's a good system to play Pokemon games and Mario Kart and stuff, but forget about Pokemon, I want to use this thing in my day-to-day -day life. So that's why we're going to be deviating from the typical use of a Nintendo 3DS in today's video. Just for some context, the Nintendo 3DS was released in 2011, was particularly kind of successful, its best-selling game was Mario Kart 7, the eShop was shut down on it in 2023, and the online services for it died in April of last year. So... It's not necessarily the most modern and up-to-date thing. And in fact, you can't get parts for these from Nintendo, but not because of being too old, it's because they ran out of parts. So, question one. How portable is this thing? You know that joke about, like, girls' pockets can't hold a lot of stuff, while boys' pockets can, like, hold, I don't know, um, the Univac? <laughs> Otherwise known as some old mainframe computer? Well, I don't know why I brought it up here, honestly. So, let's test this out. Now, I should mention here that with this can it fit in my pocket test, things are a bit on the unfair side as we are using the effectively largest model of 3DS here, which was a new Nintendo 3DS XL. Yeah, look at this Colossus. But can it fit in my pocket? Surprisingly, Yes, it's a bit tight, and I probably wouldn't leave a game running in this thing, but it fits in there, so I guess it passes that test. Next up, we're going to look at the software. Before I actually get into the software that we'll be trying out, there are some things that I want to clarify. First of all, I don't have Flipnote Studio or Flipnote Studio 3D on here. I've never had that stuff. And this is not going to cover homebrewing in any sorts. Because this is also my personal system, so I'm not going to go through the risk of homebrewing because I don't have another one. And this contains memories I have from a decade ago. So, no homebrewing. Because I've also never done it before. So, I guess let's just get going now. Let's start with the internet browser, which is not based off of Opera if I remember correctly. So, if you remember a bit back, I did a, in retrospect, not that great video on watching YouTube on the Nintendo 3DS. If you want to understand how bad it really ended up being in retrospect, then feel free to watch it. But, we can't watch YouTube on this anymore. We can access Google, don't get me wrong, but we can't access a lot of sites. What I do know we can access, though, is my own website or the neo cities one obviously the google sites one is not gonna load on this thing just common sense but not a lot of sites will work on this thing bing wikipedia neither of those work however there is a website that is basically targeting old web browsers and called frog find made by action retro and well to put it simply frog find does work and we can actually access wikipedia how about that next up we have the built-in camera app which can take pictures. It's also used by video games for the 3DS to store screenshots from the t those titles, such as Miitopia. Honestly, why did I make Markiplier a princess in Miitopia? What is wrong with me? We can also record video. And also, that microphone has totally aged well. Alright, so here is the video recording on... Nintendo 3DS. Good god, that microphone sounds like a trumpet. Next up, it's time for sound, which is a sound recorder of sorts. This is one of the few times that I actually get to demonstrate something like this. This is the sound on the Nintendo 3DS from like some length away from the actual system. It's bad. Once again, you get to hear this questionable audio quality. And now with some effects, because yeah, the 3DS has these, gotta keep the kids entertained somehow. Next up, it's time for Swap Note, which was basically a picture messaging service thingy where you could draw pictures and include stuff and whatnot, and your me would show up. Just for some context, we can only send through Street Pass because Spot Pass... Um... 
let's not get into why you can't use this thing with Spot Pass and why this got shut down before even 2015. It's seriously something that we do not need to get into right now. Oh, yeah, uh, I do have the notification regarding that. <laughs> well, you can create nodes with different colors and stuff, and we can also use 3D. I also want to briefly cut in here and s regarding the use of the stylus. So, a bit of a slight deviation from typical stuff, real briefly. There are a lot of things that apparently can be treated as 3DS styluses. Even CD jewel cases. Yeah, I found this out while looking at stuff on my phone. Next up, we have the activity log, which basically gives us an idea of how much we have used this thing. And it also gives us a way to show off how much Pokemon I've played. That's not a joke. This isn't fabricated. This is years of work. Now, say you wanted to program on this thing. Well, that's where Smile Basics got you covered. I made a short on this a bit back, but... <laughs> Like anyone really cares, because those don't really get a lot of attention. But to put it simply, we're not going to spend too much time on this because it's programming and it's not too exciting. But we can, like, create our own programs in basic. Like, you can make games and stuff. It's kind of cool, and I want to. I want to have more time to use it, but I don't usually get them the most time. So another thing that we have is Colors 3D. I am not going to spend too much time on this. This is basically drawing application where we can draw stuff, and you know. Um. And now for the sudden abrupt cut to the next day because my phone decided that it was gonna nearly overheat. I hope I really have gotten a new camera by this point, and it's generally going to summarize the 3DS stuff. Now we're gonna look at the DSiWare. First off, my diary. A thing that we have to hold this like a book if we want to use. But it's basically like a diary. Can write stuff in it, you can draw phallic objects and keep them away from your friends and family so that they don't realize that you're drawing phallic objects on a handheld gaming console. Next up, we have the photo clock in which I'm going to censor some stuff here because there could be some potentially sensitive pictures. So, I want to briefly mention that apparently Wikipedia says that this wasn't available on the 3DS, but I clearly recall it being on the 3DS eShop, and that's how I got it on here, so I don't know what's up with that. But, it's a alarm clock, and a general clock. Apparently it was even included as a pre-bundled application on the Nintendo DSi, which is interesting. We have these alarm sounds, and we can also use- ah! And there's also these, like, thingies here that were not functional on here. They regarded tags in the DSi camera app, but this is a 3DS, and I do not have a DSi, so, uh, these are useless. Next up, my notebook. Carbon. This was offered in a bunch of different colors, but I chose this one. This is so old, I was still using the Open Steel Envy logo as the channel logo so let's change that but we can write notes and i don't know how to use this thing the most efficiently Next up, Nintendo Countdown Calendar. It's essentially a calendar. How about that? But we can write notes and whatnot here, and it'll remind us if we turn this on and stuff. I should mention here that the 3DS is not capable of multitasking, so that makes this whole shebang even harder. But I would assume this might have some degree of integration into the DSi's stuff. I don't know. Next up, it's a calculator, which we all know is everyone's favorite kind of application here. This is referring to the run- this is a bit of an old running gag. But it's a calculator, we could do advanced calculation things as well as unit conversion, so that's cool. Next up, my postcards. Where we have postcards, I guess. I guess let's take another picture. And that'll be that- oh my god, why my phone break again? Well, also I realized that I had a picture of a toilet box. For whatever reason, I don't know. Last but not least, it's time for a metronome. You know, a metronome. Uh, 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 
What? Why can my mouth make sounds like this? We need to change this. But, you know, it's a metronome. Can use beats. There's also this, like, Donkey Kong minigame here, so that's cool, I guess. Um, Also, we could record our own metronome noises, like this. <laughs> but that's generally gonna be it. Overall, I feel like you could potentially use a Nintendo 3DS as, like, a handheld mobile device. Meaning that, like some other Nintendo consoles, it had some, it could have had some form of appeal to even those that weren't all about games and stuff. So to answer the question that this video mainly brings, I think, yes, you can use the 3DS as a computer. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,